and my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. This week is all about DIY and bellies because I love DIY and bellies and also because I love old school stationery. Because I'm a child of the 80s and the 90s and back then we had limited supplies so for a lot of my lunch hours at school I would go into the local town and just spend it in the stationery shop which was so limited. <laughs> It was like literally pens and paper and folders and things like that. But I loved it and it gave me a love for more fancy stationary things such as quills and wax seals and parchment paper. So today I'm going to transfer that love into faux wax seals so that I can use them in my art journals because although I use wax seal stamps and I guess I can show you on some of these. So these are wax seals, but I don't want to put these in my art journals because they're working journals. And if I put a hairdryer to it, or you put something else hot to it, like if you use a hot glue gun or something, you could melt the wax again and then it will fuse your pages together. So no wax in my journals, but they're very easy to make with two supplies which are polymer clay and stamps to make permanent faux wax seals that you can use on any project that you like. So gather your clay and gather your stamps. I personally like to use smaller stamps because it's more realistic to what wax seals are like and I also like to use at least two colours now the reason for this is that when I make a wax seal I do use usually two to three colours to create a lovely marbled effect which is exactly the same thing you can do with polymer clay very easily. So you don't need loads and loads of clay as again for these we are going for realistic so you can see the amount of clay per wax seal is quite minimal. So just keep mixing until you're happy with how the combination looks. And then roll it up into a ball. And the difference between doing a wax seal and doing it this way is you kind of already squish it down. And I like to make it so that it isn't perfect, so that there's usually one side that's thicker and maybe off center the actual stamping that I'm gonna do. So when you pick your stamp, pick your sides because both sides are going to have some beauty to them and shove your stamp in and there you go. It's not too dissimilar from the original, you know. wax faux, not too dissimilar are they really? So obviously we have to do the extra step of sticking these in the oven. In truth I do like using the wax stamps or the stamps that are made for wax over craft stamps in the polymer clay. So wax stamps are different to our craft stamps in that they're made out of metal, not rubber or acrylic. And they come in a variety of ways. You can either get them solid like this one, which is a little bit more expensive, or you can get them where they come apart from the handle and you can get this, what is called a blank stamp. And then you get these, which are called coins. And you can obviously switch up your design you buy these individually, obviously they're a lot cheaper than keep buying a full stamp and you don't need to keep the handles <laughs> for all of those stamps as well. So I prefer these because they are made for this kind of material that is squishy and they do tend to come out cleaner but you can still get the same effect with any stamps that you have. And I'm going to just show you a couple of other things you could do to make it look more like a wax stamp, just make a little blob or a couple of blobs 
off the side as well. You cook them separately but as long as you keep them together when you come to do your project that you're going to use them on you'll know that they're part of the same thing and you can just pull to give it that effect of the wax on the edges so that it doesn't look as neat as this one you can you can pull it about a bit um, I'm gonna go for this one I think oh, maybe the lips hmm Oh, I'll go for that one. No, that one. <laughs> Contrary Mary today. And the beauty is with this, because I couldn't see what I was doing with this, because this stamp is so large, I couldn't tell where I was placing it. It doesn't matter if you miss hit it, because that happens with wax stamps. and they still look beautiful. So, don't think that these projects have to be perfect. And there is a lot of room for this, so what you could also do with something like this, if you wanted to, is if you give it a hole, I'm gonna redo this, because I'm not fussed with it, but that's another beauty of polymer clay. You can have as many goes at it as you want. But then you make this into a charm, and if you're giving wine, as gifts for Christmas. I think that's really nice. Just tie it through with some rope or some cotton and stick it around the neck of the bottle of wine. I think that will be really a nice bottle charm. Just to add a little bit of a personal touch. I'm going to go squish down one side this time and keep one side raised and fat because I kind of like that effect with them. Um, the wax seals and I'm going to go this side I like the, the colour on this one a lot more. Now this has got a tear here which I will go again because that doesn't happen with wax that happens with polymer clay but what I was going to say is can you see how you've got this square around here that's also quite um, natural to a wax stamp so don't feel like you have to like smooth that out per se. I have done it on a couple of, see this is with that one and you can't exactly tell where the square is because I did smooth it out but that one was made with a natural wax seal as was that one and you can see where the seal where the lines are on seals, where the actual stamp goes, because it's, you know, it's like a brass ring, so it's not going to not show itself. So I don't feel like you have to smooth it. The more you roll though, the more you will lose the marble, marbling effect, but then the more solid colour you will get, so it depends what you're after. Okay, go with this one. There we go. So we'll keep you this time, along with your little buddies. Ooh, Mama wants some hot pink. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Go dark or do we go light? Ooh yeah, I'm liking that. Oh, I love this combo. Ooh yeah, lovely. Okay. Might go for a bigger one with you. And I might not stretch you out so that you fit, so that the design goes over the stump. Or see your size. See how different that looks. That it's filled, but I'm not, not loving it. <laughs> Ooh, Bordeaux. Bordeaux colour. It's fun to just play. These are just simple things to create but useful embellies that you can just stockpile really and then pull out on any project that you might have an inkling to use them on. They're not, not going to work on anything really, a card, a tag, art journal page, whatever. 
I was thinking it'd be quite nice for little ones to make these with them and then make little necklaces. Again, just create a little hole in the top and make little necklaces for them with some rope. If your lot are anything like my lot in my family, they like things like that. Now, when you choose a colour that's dark like this, it's more likely you are not going to see the design. So the next step, after we've cooked them, I'm going to give you a couple of ways to decorate. all of these in the oven at whatever your particular polymer clay says. Personally, I just put it on the lowest setting <laughs> and just keep checking on it like every few minutes. Particularly when they are this thin, they don't need to be in there that long. So when you poured your pieces out of the oven, they are ready to use exactly as is if you want to. I mean this is exactly the same as what a wax seal is, it's just the wax and the stamp but you've just substituted the wax for the polymer clay but I do like to do a little extra step just to pull out the detail a little bit more and I'll show you with some I did earlier but I also want to show you what it will look like on say a journal page so for instance on this page they're just little accents that you know you can add to give dimension when you have done your little droplets as well, just be sure to keep them with your piece so that you can add them. And then on the page, if you keep the little droplets near the actual main faux wax seal as well, that gives it a little bit of authenticity because when you're pouring wax, the drops will go around where it's pouring so it won't necessarily be over here although you can put it there if you want to but it will just look a little bit more true to what you're trying to make it look like really. But say this piece that I really love it needs something to pull out that detail because that's got lots of dimension to it which you can see but you can see it a lot better when we add a little bit of at least acrylic to it. Okay, so this trick is seconds and it really elevates your faux stamps. All you need to do is a little bit of brushing with some acrylic on your pieces just to pull out the detail. So wipe off, sorry you can't see what I'm doing, I'm just wiping the acrylic off of my finger. So I'm just giving it a little bit of a brushed effect, not too much and it really pulls out the detail. Now how I'm doing it with this one, this butterfly here, is I'm going over the raised bits but you can do it reverse as well so you can see one side to the other and I'm just using golden iridescent. Now I like the metallics for this or black personally and my favourite metallics are golden, golden silver and the iridescent ones, gold and silver, gold and gold and gold and pearl are my three favourites and I do have a link down in the description to all of my favourite art supplies if you want to see them. But you can also do it reverse and I do tend to go to the golden ones for this because they're just, I don't know, they're just so much more to me than other brands of metallic paints. So don't forget your edges as well if you are painting on top. But there's also a way where you can kind of dip into the impression and wipe it away. I'll show you with these lips because these lips are a great impression and they'll make a great demonstration of this. So I've just got a wet wipe but you can also use a tissue 
and you just take away any excess from the top layer so it's only the impression that you're putting the paint on so you either put it on top like a relief or you put it inside the actual part that is got the the stamp imprinted on it if that makes sense okay so layered in the depression and then layered on top so this is another one where I put it on top and then wiped it off and then this is one where I just run my finger over the top very quickly so take your pick I choose per piece what I think would look better this one I think you could go either could go either with that ah let's see what happens let's just go for it I think maybe yeah I think maybe just over the top will will work lovely however when you do do over the top but then get it in the impression I just take a, a brush that I've just dampened a little bit and take off the paint on the inner imprint because I either want it one way or the other I mean I'm not overly precious about it but if I do it one way I want it to to be ordered in some way and then with the droplets on something like this you can just add a little bit of your paint to the droplets as well just so they stay matching I actually think I like this one as is so I'm going to leave that one And this is something that you can just keep layering with so this piece I've already added gold but I think I'm going to add a little bit of the pearl as well and you can just keep going and going until you've got to a point where you're happy with how your faux seals look There is also another step that you could add if you wanted it to look a little bit more like wax. On these edges that kind of bubble up as you push the stamp in, they do have a nice shine to them. So if you wanted to, you could add a bit of glaze or a bit of varnish, whatever you have. You could just add it around where we've created these faux bulges if you wanted to. Here's another one I think would do it quite nicely, glossy accents. So because I haven't added any paint onto this one I may just add a little bit of the the medium onto here just to give it a little bit, not overlay but a little bit of, yeah I like it. So these extra steps are totally up to you. But they take literally seconds to decorate them up. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I want to see your faux wax seals and on your projects you actually put them onto. This one and this one I've turned into charms. I'm definitely going to go on some of my bo bottles that I showed you at the beginning of the video outside. For sure, that's going to look lovely. Just wrapped around the neck of a bottle like I said give you any wine or to make some kiddies necklaces they're very cute easy projects so I'll see you next week guys much love everyone Mwah. if you're not already come join me on my art community journalworkshops.ning.com to connect with other artists to ask questions share ideas share your artwork get inspired by others artwork joining our monthly challenges, our other groups, our other classes and just to connect with like-minded, beautiful, creative people like yourself. Much love everybody. Bye bye.